Hi you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Elena, and we're gonna be watching the Boondocks Rear on season four, episode two, okay? Um, last episode we had Tom needing some help from Pretty Boy F. Lizzie, which was Michael B. Jordan's voice, by the way. Like what the absolutely like how was he doing here on this show? I love how we're getting like voices that you're familiar with in this damn show. I love it, I love it, I love it. But yeah, I'm not gonna hold you. Let's just go ahead and jump right on in. Let's go. An affluent, quiet, tree lined suburb. Okay. Robert Jebediah Freeman, war hero and civil <laughs> rights legend, decided to spend his final days. He's about to die? Boys! We're right here. They're moving? Important family announcement. We are leaving Woodcrest forever. Our what? have been a complete disaster since we moved here. True that. Now that's true, that. true Granddad. <laughs> they agree. Boring lies. I was supposed to find some hot, financially desperate, or sexually frustrated mama and settle down. Okay. It's plain. Just in one ridiculous. Where are you gonna go? Well, I say it's about time. <laughs> Riley. We showed up. Well, I have yes, he has. What's going on? Whatever do you mean, grandson? I mean, you never take responsibility or learn a lesson. Ever. Huey saw through the BS. We're broke, aren't we, Granddad? How he ain't got no money? <laughs> you you crazy boy? Everybody know Granddad got lots of paper. Tell him, Granddad. How's he broke? You did. I told him that, but if I was do it, and then he go to the Granddad, calm down. What happened? We have no money. Worse. Worse. What's worse than a fact? Mm -hmm. How much? A couple. A couple. Hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Millions. You a lie. I refinance with that damn adjustable rate mortgage. Mmm. And look so friendly. <laughs> How could I know it would shoot up to 21%? What? 21? <laughs> Thanks for killing our future. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so. He even. I feel embarrassing being the only homeless kid at school, Granddad. <laughs> if you go going to school. Ooh. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Him crying. <laughs> this is starting granddad. Man, a sitcom. Good times. <laughs> this is stupid. Are these orange juice? Boy, you really need all that damn orange juice. Careful. From now on, that's all the orange juice you get. Come on, granddad. <laughs> Then drink water. <laughs> drink some water. What? Why? Morning, nigga. It's <laughs> worth mentioning that Uncle Ruckus is running for mayor. A new face in the Republican. What the hell? From Uncle Ruckus. Out of nowhere, a Mr. Uncle Ruckus. Financed by billionaire banking tycoon. Once there? Skin condition called Revitiligo. Liberals are, of course, ridiculing this man's disease, which I can assure you is completely real, unlike rape. Yes, that's right. No! Just ran for president and basically almost won. Give us your strongest critique of President Obama. One minute. Oh, hell. He's a black bitch from the sweaty... <laughs> <Sumbitch. laughs> Once people... You see, fellow white Americans, this is why I am running for me. Why? And black is bad. Ain't no question about that. And being poor is bad. What? Nigga has a knife to be both. <laughs> Beat nigga. Ruckus, I don't have time for this. What are you doing here? Question is, Robert, what are you doing here? Oh, hell. Man, why don't he get a job? Oh, what? What? You thought you could pay your mortgage with food stamps, nigga? No! Look, you fat bastard! The thanks I get. I was on my way to take Jimmy Kimmel, and I thought I would stop by and see how y'all niggas was doing. No, you weren't. Ruckus, enough! How do you know about my house payments anyway? Yeah. No, sir, I did not. I came by to tell you I quit. Now that I'm an official Woodcrest mayor, I quit. Get off me, Robert! Get your nigga hands off me! Oh. He really trying to make a scene. I'm below my emancipation store. <laughs> no, go. <laughs> no, the Home Alone boy. Macaulay Culkin, that's his name, right? Eddie? 
Junior? Motherfucking Freeman. What? It's me, Ed Wensler Junior. Oh, huh? Yeah, we never met, but my father talks about you so much, I feel like I know you. You're Ed the Third's dad. Well, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Wensler the Second. Call me Eddie. Can I come in? You're already in my house. The couch is beautiful with the the carpet. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is my assistant, Vanderbilt. You do have a lovely home. I used to have a lovely home. Let's see what until it was taken. Hmm. Hmm. So look, I don't want to waste your time. You just steal their pen? Yeah, about that. Look, I'm just here Please? to get you the fuck out. Interesting. A debt. <laughs> You should have seen your face. Robert, it's me. It's your nephew, Eddie. I'd never kick you out. Nephew? Hey, you checked for hollow loud spaces. You remember those fucking nuns with the trying to hide the thorny crowd on the wall? What? Hey, man, why are you stealing our stuff? <laughs> Riley, call him out. No, this is asset remanagement. Yeah. Please, Mr. Eddie, help yourself. It's your house. It's your living room. It's your, uh... Is that? <laughs> I knew that was what I thought it was. You think you can get that to me in, let's say, in a month? A month? I can't come with that kind of money in a month. Well, not if you keep putting all that negative energy into the universe. You got to think positive. Say How in the world? I will get Eddie's money in a month. Agreed. Wait, no. Got to run. It's all going to be okay. I'll see you later. In a month? 52 grand? Nothing is going to be okay. Listen to me. Fake your debts. Do you hear me? Fake. He's trying to help y'all out. Fake your desk and get out of here. This seems it's going to go bad. Oh, and they're back. What a beautiful butterfly. Robert motherfucking Freeman. My nigga. Can I say that? Yes, I can. Mr. Wensler. Oh. No, you can't. No, you can't. Please tell me you have my money, Robert. Please. Well, you see, Eddie. What? Please. Yes, well, I'm working on it, but I don't have the money right now. You don't have my money. Well, I don't have all of it. How much you have? Riley, bring the suitcase with the money. <laughs> what the hell? Seriously, where's my money? If you don't have my money, I can't believe this. We can make money off the house together. We ran out each of the rooms as a separate unit. Two bedrooms, guest room, living room. This is going to be so ghetto. Genius, right? Whoa, wait. Yeah, uh, man, slow down. I'm telling <laughs> Slow down. If you're really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe. To love it. It'll be like a commune. Huey, you'll have plenty of people to talk to and share all your political ideas. Where do we live? The garage. It's damn near like a whole other house. I'm telling you, y'all could HGTV that shit up. Make this shit fly. This is bananas. I told you. It's never too late to fake your own death. He said, I try to warn y'all. How many people are in here? And he's letting, he got people sleeping on the carpet. His bedroom door is locked, he can't even. He got a lock on his own door. Can I help you, motherfucker? Yes, uh, I'm the owner of the house. You ain't the owner of the house. I know exactly who you are. What the fuck do you want? To use the bathroom? Bathroom? There's a bathroom downstairs, motherfucker! Yeah. Oh, hell. I prefer you get the fuck out of my face, nigga. Oh, snap! Are we about to have a nigga <laughs> Not a moment. I don't want to have a nigga moment. I just have to go to the bathroom. <sighs> that sucks. Living in a garage. Man can't do the call himself a man once a stranger's ass chicks has been on the <laughs> private toilet. It's all your fault, Kid. It is. We really turned our life into good times. <laughs> good times. You still live in a nice neighborhood. Yeah, for now. You might have to get a job, Granddad. What? That's what I said earlier. Why can't y'all get jobs? They're underage. Labor laws, unsafe <laughs> workplaces, really small hands. That's garbage. You're <laughs> Plus, who's even hiring now? Oh, Uncle Ruckus. Gave up work to run for mayor. I didn't give up, boy. I gave up working for nigga. 
enough colors <laughs> like Mexicans and sand people. Now you better grab some stuff. Oh, in hood. Wax on. Wax off, nigga. He needs a bigger shirt. And you are not Mr. Miss. Oh, uh, was it teacher? Was it Ah Miyagi? That's his name. Mr. Miyagi. Come on, man. Let's sweat more scrub. I don't know why they fired the sand people. No, they did not. Call work. That's what white folks been doing their whole lives. Shut up, ruckus. When do I get paid? I don't know, nigga. You fired. Fired. Oh. I got laid off at the car wash today. Damn. Oh, man. What you do now? Nothing. It was a temporary layoff. Huh? <laughs> Ruckus is back on the scene. Hannity. Town feathers with bold ideas. Barack Hussein Obama thinks black people made this country great. Black Africa Negro man. Put that nigga in chains. Drag his black ass all the way over here to America to do some productive work. Now that's what's made America great. <laughs> What the hell? Because the China man uses slave labor and we don't. Alpha computers don't need to be using no Chinese slave labor. Fashion blacky American slave labor. That's right. Idiot. The mail today. A gangsta delicious card. It's our key to financial. Gangsta delicious. The gangsta delicious card, granddad. That's right. The one on the commercial. No. That's, That's his issue. Lil Wayne card. You see, boy, the key to smart finance is... Did you read the fine print? Exactly. That's a negative. $1,500 in fees? What the fuck? God damn it, Lil Wayne. From now on, nobody listens to Lil Wayne or Gangsta Licious in this house. You mean garage. What happened? <laughs> what the what? Look at this place. Yeah, it's so cozy. And I love how you arrange your beds. It's a very economical... Why did he look beat up? Dig it. Say... Do you mind if we store uh, something here for just a couple of days? Store what? Anything. So we just he, came by. He doesn't ask enough questions. We rented all the rooms in your house. The bad news is we're still not really making a dent in your debt. How? <clears throat> Don't tell me that it's what I think it is. <clears throat> I'll just put this in that nice cool corner. Uh, sure. Vanderbilt? Find me a way to get Robert that money. It's impossible, sir. Their credit is piss poor, sir. Piss poor? Dang, granddad. Oh, this man is a customer. He is a dear family friend. He is a war hero, a civil rights legend. We must find a way to help him. There's one way. What? Uh-uh. Uh -huh. At Wunsler Banking, we do believe in offering quality banking services. No. Credit. Alone. Yes, I'll take it. Done. Fine print, Robert. I believe in you, Robert. I believe in the Freeman family. Freeman family. You're more stupid than I thought. You are. Idiot. Did you check the interest rate? 150% interest. What's that mean? Y'all know I don't do math. It means now Idiot. I'm another million in debt. It was a rip-off. An easy credit rip-off. Huey, you need to knock your granddad out. What is that? A body. Well, at least we're not singing in a hurry. Those aren't the lyrics. Singing in a hurry. What is this? Drink a lot of Jew wine? No. Banging with the giant. It's hanging in the chow line, granddad. Hanging in the chow line. <laughs> Child's barbecue. Well, boys, this is it. Moving day. <laughs> 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 so unfortunate. This is our male role model. <laughs> you get me my money, or you're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead. Okay, see ya. What the what? Ow, ow, ow. Whoops. Sorry. sorry I was just cutting some uh, meat <gasps> earlier. What? That's not. <gasps> he stabbed somebody. This place, this neighborhood, won't be the same without you guys. Yes, sir, Mr. Kindly Billionaire White Man. What? A rucker can help you with that broke nigga. What? It's former presidential candidate and the next mayor of Woodcrest, Uncle Ruckus. Why is he here? <laughs> <laughs> the 
Slavery? No. Slavery? I think about it as investing. Peace out. I invest in you. You help me. Slavery? Yeah, what we gotta do in return? It better not be nothing gay. <laughs> oh, Riley. 100% of the time and in exchange. You own us. No, I do yes. 100% of your time until the debt is paid. That's fair, right? No. Sure it is. For Here we got some sense. Say digging a six foot hole in the ground. Wow. Because that's what it's about. People helping people. Simple. No. I'll take it. Granddad. Stop. I will not be a part of this. It's slavery. It's literally slavery. Oh, we're too good to be slaves? Yes, we're too good. And that is true. You've forgotten where you came from, Huey. Granddad, you can't sell yourself into slavery. Who cares if he owns me? I'm tired of living in that garage with you two smelly niggas. We're going to be... Oh! Might as well get my house back. I'll sign it. <laughs> Robert's an idiot. I think this episode makes me so frustrated. Worthless niggas like these now have real value to this country. Oh, we made a bet that I couldn't get you guys to sign yourselves into slavery. He didn't think I could do it. I won. And I lost. Here you go, boss. One dollar. One dollar. That's how much the bet was. <laughs> this episode made me very frustrated with granddad look i don't know if homeboy legit lost his house or whatever he was in debt but this whole episode pissed me off so bad about granddad signing every little thing getting himself further further in debt but the thing is to me i think the frustrating part is a lot of the time I don't even think this is just about a particular race of people, but I think it's trying to like portray like black people just getting money or seeing it's fast money and then trying to get themselves out of, you know, bad situations and they put themselves deeper in bad situations. But it's the fact that he just kept doing it after being, you know, told by Huey to read the fucking fine print and, and no, he still deliberately chose it. I think that's what pissed me off. It's like, Okay, yourself, but you have two kids and you're looking out for granddad and you're still gonna take it? You idiot! Like, ah! This, this episode definitely frustrated me. Definitely frustrated me. But yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.